Now I'm going to use this same sauce for my chicken, so I'm not so worried about cleaning out my wok right now. Otherwise, I'd just get a quick little towel to rinse it out. I am going to add a little bit more oil so that sauce doesn't burn into the bottom of the pan. You can see it's already getting pretty warm. Just add a little bit more oil there. Spread that oil around a little bit. Grab my chicken. I use the same marinade for the chicken, just a little bit of oil and a little bit of uh, salt and pepper. Pour it away from you because that oil might be hot. Now the chicken is going to take a little longer to cook than the beef. You can serve beef medium, medium rare and it's okay. The chicken you really want cut up, you know, cooked well. So once all the chicken is nice and white and firm, um, I'll add my vegetables. My vegetables for the stir fry are frozen, so that's going to decrease the heat a little bit. Um, so I want to make sure that my chicken is well cooked before then. So we're going to let this cook, I'm going to say five to eight minutes, and then we'll be back to add the vegetables. All right, it's been about five to eight minutes. I really don't know how long it's been. We've been eating the beef and broccoli stir fry. So uh, my chicken's pretty much all the way done. It's not quite all the way done, but I'm going to be adding my frozen vegetables to it. And I know that it's going to cook a little longer. I want to point out that the recipes we're using here, we're doing these videos to show the use and versatility of the volcanoes, the collapsible volcano grill with charcoal and the collapsible volcano grill with the propane. Today we're doing wok cooking and in just about 10 minutes we did beef and broccoli. It's going to take us about 10 to 15 minutes and we'll have chicken and broccoli. Um, these are simple easy recipes. All I did was dice up the meat, just a little bit of oil, salt and pepper. I bought a bag of frozen vegetables and just a jarred stir fry sauce and that's it. Nice and easy meal. Um, it's great for emergency preparedness. It's great for camping. Um, it's great for boating. You can throw these few little frozen items in the cooler um, when you go hiking or river rafting or anything like that. Take them out with a wok real quick and stir fry them right up. All right, my stir fry is almost done. I cooked my chicken for about eight minutes. I added in the frozen vegetables and allowed it to cook for about another five minutes. I've been spreading it out to the side because the wok heats up on the sides. So it's all getting a nice heat even distribution. We have a train in the background that wants some. I'm just going to add my sauce real quick. Toss that in there really quick just to cover it. Get everything coated with that stir fry sauce. Again, if I were lower, I'd just toss the whole pan. Let me get another bowl. Move our half-eaten beef and broccoli. Move that spoon over to get it out of the way. Now I'm going to pour this into the bowl. Try to keep it in the bowl this time. And there you have it. I'm going to turn off my gas. So in less than 30 minutes with pre-cut vegetables and pre-cut meats, I was able to do a quick beef and broccoli stir fry and I was able to do a quick chicken with vegetable stir fry. Took me about 30 minutes on the collapsible volcano grill with propane. Again, I want to show you that my hands are touching the sides. It's just a little warm to the touch. We're cooking here on a fabric table and it's not touching the table much at all. And that's it.